It's time for the Kevin and Nikki show. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for the Kevin and Nikki show on iHeartRadio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's time stars. for the Kevin and Nikki show. They gon' have it lit up. Yeah, you know it's time for the Kevin and Nikki show. They got the airways popping every city across the globe. It's time for the Kevin and Nikki show. They gon' have it lit up. Yeah, you know it's time for the Kevin and Nikki show. They got the airways popping every city across the globe. You know him as a door actor, Kevin D. Bitten. 360 twice, Jim, how you keep winning? And you know the baddest actress, Nikki Warren. She so bad you walking past, she had you speaking for her. If you ain't tuning in, this your reality check. You might miss out on your favorite star celebrity guest. When they celebrate, what you do? You get the bell, yeah. Doing Kevin's corner, get expired and encouraged, yeah. Bend them corners while you listen, but don't swerve. Find out what's getting on, Nikki nerd. What's bothering Nikki? What's bothering Nick Nick? What's bothering Nikki? What's bothering Nick Nick? Keep on playing, me and Kevin Goons, and we gon' get you hit. Yo, check us out on social media. In your mobile phone, we everywhere. You have the station played out like a ringtone. Follow me, like Bino R.E.M.E. Bino Remy, pop like Sammy. And my flow hotter. Dick a semi, been doing this since I scraped up pennies. But back to the subject, Kevin Nicky. We're back, we're back, we're back for another exciting edition episode of the Kevin and Nikki show on iHeartRadio and a worldwide platform. <laughs> I'm actor Kevin D. Benton. And I'm actress Nikki Warren. And, and we're back. back. <laughs> we're back, man. We're back, we're back, we're back. Yeah, man. It's always good to be back on the air. And uh, we want to give a shout out to all our listeners out there all across the world that tune in every week to the Kevin and Nikki show <laughs> from the top, middle and bottom of our hearts. <laughs> we want to say thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. We do what we do for you. And just know that God is good when he's blessing me all the time and he's blessing you. And all the time, God is good. That was the wrong slogan. What? I was on a different slogan. What were you on? The slogan I was on was, God is good if he's blessing me and blessing you. The one you was on was, God is good all, all the, time. the time and all the time, God is, God is good. Well, it fit. It fit. It still fit. <laughs> it yeah, fit. It still fit. Yeah. It fit. Yeah. So you man, know you got to You know you have to say that God is good. That was the remix. We mixed them both together. See, see, there you go. but it fit. Though. It, it fit. Perfectly. It fit. It fit. Yeah, that's perfectly. Right. Uh, you're absolutely right. Yeah. So look, we always seem to, to have, have some stuff going on. Yeah. So with that said, it is time for the mini adventure of Kevin and Nicky. <laughs> 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 so look, I look. I'll yeah. let you go first. First, you always let me go first. Well, you do it. You, okay, you, well, this, this is your week. You I was just my week. Huh? What is this? This is a special week. Yeah, it's a special week. What makes it so special in terms of being different from the other week? Because the Lord week. woke you up this morning. But he woke me up last week. <laughs> he woke saying. me up last week morning too. But, I felt all in the spirit that the Holy Spirit was oh, saying, man. let Kev go first. Here we go. So Here you know you go. got to be obedient to the spirit when it comes down. Well, of course, well, I go first. Yeah, well, look, of first. course, we always stand on the grind. Yes. Uh, we seem to always have some uh, projects on the horizon. Yes. Uh, some waiting in the pocket to be. Waiting in the pocket. Uh, to come to fruition. 
Yeah, it um, seems like they popping out the pockets though, because we were on our straight grind. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about like we we have some scripts that are already written that we're waiting to film. Yeah, so we got those. Then we got the ones that we are filming. Yes. So we was back on the set. Uh, if you're dirty, yeah, go take a bath, and uh, it's going pretty well. And uh, you know everybody's doing such a great job, and I'm getting a taste of what it means, what it's like to be doing a little bit of directing, and I'm real, I'm really excited about it. And I'm, what I'm seeing, too, is that, um, you know, you have your your aspect of you in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. And then it's kind of one of those things where it's good to get behind the camera mm-hmm. because then you're able to see a little bit more. Yes. And I, I learned that when I was playing basketball because there's a difference from being in the game. Mm-hmm. And then maybe like mm-hmm. when you know when you got injured or whatever, you was mm-hmm. kind of forced to sit on the bench, right, right, and you right, had right. to watch the game from the sideline, right, right, and you right. saw a lot more. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. saying, mm-hmm. and so you were able to sit back and gleam. And so being on the other side of the camera, I'm able to see a lot more because when you're in the in front of the camera in the moment, there might be some things that you don't see unless you go back and look at the footage of the scene you just recorded. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's 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 great. I'm excited about it, and I'm you know continuing to learn and grow every day as an actor, and uh, of course you know stepping into the waters of directing. Yeah, and it, was, I'm, it was I'm, good I'm, seeing I'm you in your in your element. It, yeah. it really was, um, you know, seeing you direct, mm-hmm. you know, watching you direct in different things. It, it was yeah. you were all you were everywhere. I was like, Ooh. it it was it was it was unique to be in a teaching mode. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was unique to be in a teaching mode. I, I mean, not that I'm ever out of it, because mm-hmm. I mean, I could be on set, and if I can say something that can help somebody, um, you know, I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? Just out of you know the the experience that I have, and so yeah, it's, it's going great, man. It was, it's going it was, great. Um, it was pretty. It was good. It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I I had a good time watching you. And, you know, shout out to um, Jamal Manigault. The awesome actor from Jason's Letter. Mm-hmm. And Caprice Cowan. And Caprice Cowan. Also, another um, awesome actress from Jason's, Jason's Letter. Letter. Caprice is also a model. Wow. Yeah. They came and, you know, they laid it down. And, you know, it was it was just wonderful to watch these child actors yeah. just, you know, just do their thing. And then we watched them, like, grow up right in front of us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, yep. when Jason's Letter was filmed, like... You know, they was almost like kids. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like they're still kids, but now yeah. they getting yeah. into teenagers. And I read a post, man. I'm gonna tell. I, I, oh, I, Lord. I got to, I got to share this post. <laughs> you hear me? So, like, I read the post. Since, y'all. since we on Jamal and, post, and Caprice, y'all. we not trying to match, make or anything yeah, like I that. Read, what? No, we listen. You gotta listen. It, it's it's nothing. It's no it's no Wendy Williams type gossip. I just read a post. Okay. Um, where it was the post that they put on there about us being on set. Mm-hmm. And you know, so of course everybody was leaving their comments down yeah, the yeah, down yeah, the line. Yeah, 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 and so it. um Caprice just said, Hey, thank you, Jamal Manigold. It was great working with you. And uh Jamal says, uh, basically no problem. It's always good working with you. And my mom thinks you're cute. <laughs> so I clicked hearts on both of them. So I'm not trying to match make or anything or make nothing of it. But we're gonna keep eyes on this development. You know what? See. <laughs> we're gonna keep an eye on this development See. as it proceeds. See. But no, shout out to Jamal and Caprice. They're, I'm for the record. Let's put it on record. They're just, they're really good friends. Yes, they they're are. really good friends. I'm just really good just friends. trying to be and funny. We're gonna leave it, at and we're gonna that. leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. Yeah. That's where we're going. That's where we're gonna leave it at. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We because not, we, these these are two phenomenal actors, yeah. and like I said, Caprice is also a model. Um, a model. And I see, I'm going I'm to say it right now. I see Victoria's Secret and her future yeah. where she can walk the runway and get some wings. Oh, yeah. No question. I, I no see question. that. I see that. You and, know. and even for Jamal, man, I see him going all the way up, man. Yeah. He's such a humble, yeah. down-to-earth kid. Uh, very, very founded, grounded. He has a he has good people around mm-hmm. him. He's, you can mm-hmm. tell he has a solid found, foundation. And to you know be starring in a movie with Vivica Fox and you haven't changed... That's a note that a lot of adults need to take yes. out of a chapter of his because yeah. Yeah. you get some adults that get a background role on a Hollywood set and yes. you can't speak to them after that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you can't say nothing to them. That's it. There was a blur in the yes. background, but you can't but speak to them. I'm going to say this, though. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Um, you know, we talked with Jamal and his mother over the weekend. and You know, they are planning on going to L.A. Right, right. Jamal is in the process of 
auditioning for Disney. Okay. And I'm saying right now, he got it. Oh, yeah. I know he's going to get he it. He got it. I know he's going to get it. He got it. I know he's going to get it. First of all, he puts guys first. Yes. He has the talent. He's got the look. Mm -hmm. And he's got the personality. He's a comedian, so he's funny. Um, he's outgoing. Yes. And... Uh, you know he can dance. Yeah, he can. He, he can, he, he, he he can got play. A, he, he, can, he can play the piano. He can play the piano. Bit. So he's got a lot you of. Know, so he talents. has a lot of talent. Yeah. So and I he can, can act. And he can act. Yeah. So I'm going to say he he's going he's going to go. He's yeah. going to go. Oh yeah, definitely. So definitely. and I cannot wait to you know hear back from his mom that he did well out there. I can't right, wait right. to hear back I from his you. mom. Yeah, and also um, this past weekend I was on the set of Same Old River. Same old with uh, the super talented twin. What does it sound like? I'm, Super talented okay, twin. Hold up. Super talented twin. Hold up. What? Why does that sound like an old same? I'm old going. I'm, I'm going to explain it like to you. If you let me finish. Like, like slave narrative. Yeah, chain gang stuff. It, that's what it was. Okay. All right. So All right. yeah, I was on a set of uh, same old. That's O L apostrophe. Yeah. River. Yeah. And uh, direct, written and directed by award winning super talented twin. Sisters and filmmakers Lou and Eli Bivens. Yes, and friends the, of the show. Friends, friends of the show. We had them on the show with the super talented director, writer, actress, Anaya Wolf. Yeah. So yeah, it was really good to reconnect with them, and uh, they're so professional. Nice. Um, and uh, you know, I got the opportunity to play one of the dock workers, mm -hmm. and uh, it was phenomenal, man, because the the wardrobe. That everybody wore looked like it was the 1930s. Okay. Um, you know, it, it was just great. It was just really, really great. It's about five of a short film. Yeah. Uh, we 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 had to do the chain gang song. Chain gang. What did y'all sing? No, we, I can't sing it. We can't put it out there. Oh my until, goodness. Yeah, yeah, until the, until it premieres. But Man. Um, basically, with the sound of the moon. Working, working on a train. train. But no, it wasn't that song, but it was close. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, but yeah, so what's it? It's going to be awesome because what they're doing, they're going to play. It's, it was one of 12 short films. Yeah. So what they're going to do when they premiere, they're going to play a film. Okay. Do some spoken words. Yeah, nice. And poetry, nice. then play a nice. film nice. and do okay. some spoken words. Okay. So it's going to be like a, a show, but it was a, like a slave narrative. Nice. Uh, Chuck Nice. Uh, he was one of the stars uh, of it, and everybody did a phenomenal job. And um, nice. yeah, man, you did, and I'm gonna tell you what I learned. This is what I learned. At, you at, always learn something. You, you got to. You, you, got, you, you are have a to, student uh, of the craft. You, you got to be a student. Be, you have to be a yes, student of life. You yes, know what I'm saying? What you learn. You have to be information driven. You have to be a student of yes. life because when you stop growing holistically with intellectually being one of them, mm -hmm. that's the minute you start to. You die. know what? You get the bell. Yeah. So, um, yes. so yeah. So, um, this is what I learned. When you're on set, uh -huh. you don't have to have the starring role to star. That's right. I'm about Absolutely. To, let me add to that. Let me add to that. So, not only do you not have to have the starring role to star, you don't have to have lines to act or star. Mm -hmm. It's your acting it's your that's acting. going to yeah. cause you to shine. Mm -hmm. And so... That's that's what I learned. I mean, I did have I did have lines. I did have right. you know we sang in the chain right. gang right. and right. stuff right. like that. Right. I did have lines, but the focus was Chuck and Trevor. They were the two slaves that were having um, the dialogue. Mm -hmm. So of course, you know, we had to you know interact with them and carry these big sacks. And these sacks probably probably weighed about. As much as 10 feathers. They were very, very light. Mm -hmm. But the way I was carrying them, you would have thought that thing weighed about 3,000 mm -hmm. pounds. Mm -hmm. Because I had to portray that. You had to portray it. I had to portray yeah. that. And, yeah. um, you know, when you can walk away and say, hey, I was I was uh, pleased with my performance. Yeah. But then when the director and the cinema photographer is saying, hey, you're, you killed it. Yeah. You killed it. Yeah. It makes you feel good. Yeah. It really does make you feel good. And, and you know, in my philosophy, and I've shared this with you before, Nick, as award-winning actors, whether I have a background role, supporting role, mm -hmm. or principal role, I want my performance to be award-winning no right. matter what it is. Right. You right, understand right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. And that's right. the mindset that you have to have because it, in this game, so you're only true. as good as your last game. That's right. That's you right. You know, now, that's like we right. talked about, 
every character doesn't cause for you to have to be dramatic and cry yeah. and be angry and yell. Yeah, 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 Some yeah. characters just cause for you to be calm, calm. and just deliver your lines. Yep. But deliver it like a award winning actor or actress. And that's absolutely true. Yeah. That's absolutely true. And other than that, man, we was on a big Hollywood set. We, yep. Due to the NDAs. We yeah, we cannot, can't say what it is. We cannot say what it is, but yeah. I'm telling you, I had, oh my God, I yeah, had, we had a so we much had a fun. Yeah. And, you know, I can't wait to see it because yeah. I cannot. The position that the film put me in, I cannot yeah, yeah. wait we, to we, see we, myself. We both got some you know, really very decent good, screen time. Very good screen time. Yeah, and yeah. I cannot wait you know, yeah. for this film to come out and to see myself up there. Now, I got to tell this. I got to tell this story. Now, also, the actors who we were near were the A-list actors. But, yeah. So whenever a production positions you yes. anywhere near... Yeah. Or around the A list actors, that's always a good sign that's in terms always, of the faith that they have in you. That's a very good sign. That's a that's very, a very good, sign. good sign. Now, I was on my back to my one, and back to your one is basically for those that may not right. know, we know a lot of people right. listen to the show know what back to your one means, but for those that don't, it means go back to your starting point. position mm-hmm. or starting point before the scene starts. Right, because we're about to run it again. Right. Yeah. The and same so, scene. Yeah. yeah. So, one of the, um, the, I want to say one of the crew members who was on the microphone happened to be standing near me. Mm-hmm. And the way that I had to walk, I had to time this thing perfectly. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because right. when you're walking near the stars, shoulder by shoulder, you cannot bump into them. You cannot trip and exactly. fall. You cannot impede their progress. Yeah. Or they will say, who is this guy? Get him out of here. That's what you're going to hear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who is this guy? Get this guy out of here. You know, so I had to time it perfectly because we had to get through this narrow space and I had to do it over and over and over yeah, again. Yeah, and guess yeah. what your reward is? Your reward is the fact that they didn't replace your behind. That's right. That's how that's, you know you did it right. That's how you did it right. <laughs> so, Cause, yeah. Because yeah, even in my scene, I had to do, you know, do some things before I actually picked up the pieces that they wanted me to take care of. So even with that, you know, they were like, I'm liking that. You right. know what I mean? So Right. And the thing about it is they're not going to give you affirmation. Right. Nobody's going to say, hey, Nikki, man, you did a great job. You know what I'm saying? The, the thing that they're kind of, and for me as well, but sometimes you will get a window of encouragement, what I call it, where you are privy to a comment or something that they made good about you. Mm -hmm. And so one of the crew members on the microphone was standing there, me, and he just got, he was talking and he got quiet and he started listening on the microphone. And then he said, Kevin, um, so-and-so just said, man, that you are killing it and that you're matching up, Mm -hmm. you know, you're matching up everything that you did yesterday perfectly today. Right. Right. And you don't normally get that in acting. No, you don't. Because I happened to walk past the person that said it and they didn't say nothing to me, but <laughs> you know <laughs> But you take it with a grain wow. of salt. Yeah. And uh but like yeah. I said, my reward was not getting my behind kicked off. Kicked off, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we had a good time. We had a good we time. A good we, time. We, we was grinding. This was grind. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This was grind we straight grind Yeah, mode. we was grind mode. Straight yeah. grind mode. Um, you know, the other thing I'm getting ready to do is another short film, five short films. Okay. Getting ready for that. And, you know, working on that script. Then I got another script in the in the uh, inbox, working on that script. So there's always something going on. There's always something to do. I mean, directors liking what you're doing. And, and not even also got an opportunity for speaking engagement to some young kids. Director inboxed me and was like, hey, you know, I see your career is just growing and I wanted to know if you wanted to come and speak to some kids. Mm -hmm. That's just awesome. Yeah. You know, and this person has been following us, you know, and and sent the, you know, out messenger that they wanted us to come out and talk to some children. And, you know, we let the kids. Oh, yeah. And the thing we let cheering. And the thing about it, first and foremost, I mean, because I read the message and basically what he was saying was. You know, these kids hear it from me all the time. Right. These various different things. Stay in school. Get your education. Right. And so forth and so on. But he was saying to bring somebody from the outside who's, you know, doing great things, yeah, respectable yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pretty much saying the same thing. 
it's going to be reinforced. And so, yes, you know, we're looking forward to the opportunity to give back because that's what it's about. It's about, you know, our, you know, any platform that we've been blessed with is not just for you. Every time God blesses us with something, he always has another person near you mm-hmm. or down the road in line. Right. In line and in mind. Right. And right. so, right. yeah. So we're looking forward to looking going forward to speak to, to these kids and hopefully we can drop seeds in their minds that'll take root in their hearts and come and produce a harvest of behavior yeah. that's in line with success in the future. Yes. You see what I'm saying? We may never see it, but if something that we can say can deter a kid from doing drugs and staying in school or not picking up their gun mm-hmm. or, or not hanging around the, the mm-hmm. bad company... And and they can say, wow, here's two actors that are from our town, from our neighborhoods, just like us, but are saying no to these negative things, yes to these positive things, and on TV and on the big screen and stuff like that. And they get the bump showing. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. But we've done this before, though. Yeah. 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 The Martin Luther King. Remember the Martin Luther King? That was fun. The event we did talking to the kids Mm -hmm. and... You know, I remember you talked to the kids about bullying and stuff about yeah. about that. And I talked yeah. to them about keep. Uh, I have a dream. Yes, it was. Yeah, it, it was. was, it was we had a good time. It was good. We had it a good, good. good time. Man, we've been on that grind. That's, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a, lot. a lot in our and adventures. Then, and then we got stuff coming up. Yes. You know what I mean? Like we that's got stuff. A lot. Yeah, coming up. So we staying online, man. And um, you know, staying on the grind. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad about it. Yeah, I'm glad about. It. So I'm, yeah. I'm just enjoying this journey, man. You know, it's like. And this is this is one of the last thing I'll say before we move forward, um, unless you had anything you wanted to add. But it's like we sit back and we watch these phenomenal actors, whether you be an A, B, C, D, mm-hmm. E, F, G list mm-hmm. actor, mm-hmm. just watching them on TV, the DVDs, you know, the movies, the cable, and then to be on set standing next to them, mm-hmm. talking it's to them, awesome. taking pictures with them, if it, if it. If it's allowed, yeah, you know, because we know every set you're not allowed. Some some um, some sets they do allow you to definitely, you know, can't post it in line with the yeah. ND, NDAs, NDAs, and we respect yeah. that, and we will always respect that as as professionals. But to to interact and talk with them, and when you meet them and they're like down to earth, mm-hmm. it just adds to who they are as artists yeah. and people. Yeah, and it does. It's, I'm just enjoying the journey, man, and I, I try to stay focused on. Enjoying each moment mm-hmm. in the journey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's a it's a beautiful yeah. journey. It's a beautiful journey. It's a beautiful journey. Yeah. Remember, I told you that I was working out and I saw one of my old resumes mm-hmm. from you know the first few things that I had, and looking at my resume now, the resume before was only a half of a page, right, right. and now it's darn near three pages. Right, right, right. So just seeing the growth, and the you know, and yeah. the development is just awesome. Yeah, absolutely, it's just awesome. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But so we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. But, but before, before we do, man, we got a special guest for your behind. Yes. Listen, this dude is a man of God. Yes. He's super talented. Super talented. He's well connected. Yes. He's a director. And writer. Much writer. Mm-hmm. Uh actor. Actor. Bit, yeah. And much, much more. Yes. He's versed in the industry, got a lot of knowledge, information, yes. wisdom, and he's rubbing shoulders with some big listen, folks. Listen, listen, he got this fire. Man, he rubbing he shoulders with some big folks. fire project going on, and listen, if you ain't in it, I don't know where you at. You, you, you had to say something to rhyme with it. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to figure, I was saying, if you ain't in it, then you just didn't win it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was trying to find something around, but you definitely got to be in this. And I'm telling Listen, you, it is hot like fire. The, the cast and is the hot cast. like the cast is hot like fire. Like, it's hot like, like fire. fire. Babies and fans of fire. fire. My girl that's Mariah. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, the cast is fire. I mean, yes. when I say super talented cast. Super talented, and, and we gonna let we gonna let him. We gonna let him. We gonna let him tell. Let him tell. Because no. the the cast has grown. It has grown. Yes, the it cast has grown has, in numbers, but in stature. Stat. Yeah, yeah, it's listen, grown listen. in numbers and in stature. So, all right, we gonna take it to church. Uh, we're gonna take it to church now. Let, or when we come back, no, we are gonna take it to church now. Wait, I thought we were supposed to take it to church. Oh, we gonna take it to church when, when, before we introduce. Okay, it. we gonna take it. To uh, church we're taking church when, when, <laughs> before we introduce it. It's the Kelly and Nikki show on iHeartRadio and all across the world. We be right back.
Now look at you walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you can just sit down and just sit still. Look, we're trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go be easy. Let's go be easy. It's my birthday. No, it's not. But I still look good though. How come? How? I bet you want an autograph. You and your friends. Gotta do it in the penthouse. That's why I keep my pen. What you can't dig? Be Jay Brown. That had only Jay Brown can sing something like that. No, that is Bruno Mars. Oh man, I'm thinking that's Jay Brown. He sound like Jay Brown. I would walk up to somebody and say, "Throw some perm on your attitude." Cause he, you gotta relax. Man, he looked like Jay Brown. Man. He looked just like Jay. When he, say, Forget your Instagram and your Twitter. He sounds just like he, he sound like Jay Brown, didn't he? I love me some Bruno Mars. Man. Yeah, Bruno Mars is that dude. dude. I love me some Bruno Mars. Yeah, he did. Yes, 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 yes. We are back. It's the Kevin and Nikki show on iHeartRadio, and we are back. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are definitely back in full effect, and we are excited. I'm very excited about our special guest. I'm, like, super excited because he is near and dear to our hearts. He is our brother. Yeah, brother. From, from another mother. Yes, he is. And a sister, too. <laughs> <laughs> Man. What? Nick. What? I'm trying to get my sink on. No, nah, I'm about to ask you. I'm about to ask you what you've been drinking. <laughs> I'm about to ask you what you've been drinking. But anyway. I'm just saying. But anyway, it's the Kevin and Nikki show. 
on iHeartRadio. You are? Did you write that? Yes, I, I did. Okay. <laughs> what you been drinking? Okay, I'm messing up then. So. And it's Sister T. Okay. All right. So we are back, man, and now it is time to introduce our special guest. Listen, our special guest is awesome. He's all that in a bag of peanut butter, potato chips. He is a writer. He is a director. Listen, he has... He's been in Decline and Fall, the TV uh, TV miniseries. Uh-huh. Madam Secretary, yeah, a tour yeah. of the Oval Office short film. Mm-hmm. Underground Ernie TV series. Of course, he's a cinematographer. Yeah, yeah. Of course, he's the writer, director... And producer of and miscellaneous crew of, of Mob Diaries, <laughs> and then he get a self credit for Bethany the TV series, and that's just some that of his resume. Some, and he's much his, much more than that. Yes, yes. And so we so want to we want to take him to church. Let's well, take him to church. Let's okay, take him to church. All right. So now it's so now time it's for yes the imminent good doc past futurist preach past theological. <laughs> Doctrine Nation. Yes, Pastor. Brother Feel Good. Yes, Pastor. National Baptist Convention. Yes, Pastor. None other. Other than. Man. Than. The intimate. Intimate. Preeminent. Preeminent. Robert Hughes. Ha. What's up, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love y'all, man. Man, love, love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How you God. doing? Yo, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Man, I am in Hollywood, and it is 82 degrees. Folks is walking around in shorts and t-shirts. I hear you. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I hear you, man. You I can send some of that weather down here. Yeah, yeah. That's not, nothing like that Cali, Hollywood weather, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, but listen, man, we, we, we know you're very, very busy. Um, we want to first and foremost thank you so much, man, for taking time out your busy schedule to come on the show and share with us and our listeners uh, you got a lot to offer. Yeah. And uh, look, we want to jump right on into it, man. Yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, we 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 started talking about, you know, Mob Diaries and yeah. how it completely has grown. Tell our listeners about Mob Diaries, like where you started at versus where you are now. I mean, you have got a star-studded cast. cast yeah. You know, Kevin Nicky. Hey, you Kevin Nicky, then. <laughs> <laughs> we in it a little bit. You yeah. know, you got a star-studded <laughs> cast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell our listeners about Mob Diaries. You know what? It's, it's crazy. Um, I never would imagine... Uh, First of all, I didn't think people would just pick up on this thing the way they did. I thank God for that. But it's been about a little over a year developing the brand, myself, and this project. And I'm telling you, people always ask me why I say God is good because God can take somebody that's not famous and not popular Mm -hmm. and put them in a position as he has done me. And so I'm so grateful. Um, it's just amazing what God can do if you trust him and believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to preach hallelujah. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's just funny that, you know, people know, like in the Bible, they got people like Moses that stuttered and he had to use Aaron to talk for him. Right. And different things, like, you know, different stories like that where that person that may not normally be in that, supposed to be in that position is there. Yeah. Yeah, man. And that's what God has done. I think someone said to me last week, he had said to me last week, Rob, I'm going to tell you why you, why you are where you are. Mm-hmm. It was time for God to have someone in New York, Hollywood, Atlanta that can do everything everybody else can do, but add some God in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. My brother Tyler Perry, he started out like that, but you know. Mm-hmm. And it was just played, because it was played, a lot of Christians, a lot of people who love God, really jumped on Tyler Perry, because he, he, he was never God in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's really, when I tell, when I ask people how I got here, they ask me how I got here, I'm like, it was God. It was it was not me. Yes, I, I've been blessed with some skill sets and, and stuff like that, but when you just put him first, he is surprised. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I, w- I wanna So that's kinda where we are. Yeah, I wanna add to that, Rob, man, because uh you know, once again, like I said, we're not trying to, you know, push religion on anybody. But um, you know, I we know that we have the extremists out there that mm-hmm. makes Christianity look bad right, uh, with right, their right. egotistical, right. judgmental, critical uh, perspectives and behaviors. But one of the beauties of the Bible is that everybody that God used to do something great, they was all messed up. Yeah. You know, like yeah, uh, uh, Mo- like you said, Moses had a stuttering power because I mean, I'm like a I'm an information guy. Like I, I I'm not only versed in you know, um, learning about theology, but I, I, I've studied like the, you know, basis of Catholicism, Mm -hmm. the Muslim religion, Mm -hmm. just, Mm -hmm. just being educated and knowledgeable of the foundations of various different religions and things like that. Atheism as well. Um, but from the biblical standpoint, like Moses, he had a stuttering problem. He had a rejection issue. He had anger issues. Mm -hmm. He had fear issues. He had all these issues, but yet he led 2.3 billion Israelites through a Red Sea on dry land. He was used to do something great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The sons of thunder. Uh, you know, the, some of the disciples was a Peter carried a Swiss blade, cut a man's air off. You know, there, there was, there was, um, who, who, what was the name of the lady who lied to save the spy? She's in the hall of fame of faith. So one of the beauties of this life and the faith that we profess is that you don't have to have all the credentials. You don't have to have it all together. Just give God what you do have. Right. And that's what the little boy with two loaves of bread and five fish did. And it fell up. Um, it fed a multitude and had 12 baskets left over. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what I think I hear you saying. <laughs> he get the bell. <laughs> and, and, and here's the thing: God wants to put us in positions where people say, "This, how did he get that? How did she get that? Yeah, how did yeah, that happen?" Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's when we use our platform and say, "Hey, it was nobody but God." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yep. yep so yep. if you if you ever been if if anybody ever said that to you or said that about you, you on good ground. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And you know, it's funny, uh, and I, you know, well, I'm, I'm going to just talk about last night. So yesterday, I had two incredible, incredible, incredible meetings mm-hmm. that not only is doing just, you know, where people all over the country already have heard about Mob Diaries, but mm-hmm. a week ago, Mob Diaries, England, Mob Diaries, Britain, Mob Diaries, Jamaica. Mm. Nice. They, listen, they about to brand me international. And I never, ever had that in mind. I just wanted to do a dope Philly show where people, you know, recognize the tri-state and, and the talent that we have. And I'm telling you, after the meetings, I'm like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that was one meeting. The second meeting, we, we, we finally found or, or landed our first product placement company. And it's called Gold Lock Rocker. Mm-hmm. So Gold Lock is is a organic, gold green, gluten-free vodka. Now, even though I don't drink vodka, right? Mm-hmm. You, you paused on that. You paused on that, Rob. <laughs> you said, I Leave don't drink uh, vodka. <laughs> Come on, man. Hang with me. Wait, we, hold up we, we just got finished talking about all this church stuff. <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere where when I had a conversation with the CEO, and he's he's being the niece. Okay. He's not a Christian. He's not, you know. But he respected how I represent my God. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we had dinner last night. You know, me and my girl had dinner with him and his wife. And when I tell you we acted a fool like we knew each other, like me, you, and Nikki do, when we get together. Mm-hmm. 
God showed up. He didn't know me from a can of paint, man, but God showed up and made me another brother. And I'm so appreciative for people respecting my my faith. Right. I'm not trying to change anybody. Right, I'm right. I'm definitely not changing to somebody else's. Mm-hmm, right, there you mm-hmm. go. But God showed up with the love of Christ and made us family. So we're not nice. I'm trying to even kick us out the restaurant. No, <laughs> I've never even had Vietnamese food before. So we went to a nice restaurant, man, and we just busted it up. And he, you know, explained his vision for his product. And I explained how I can brand, you know, connect my brand and what we're doing in a in a, a very clean, positive classy way right right and not only that Kev and Nikki we're gonna we, we he allowed it so I can hire folks that means nice people job there you go and I'm a, I'm a cause I'm all over the place so I'm a, I'm a fast I'm a rewind I'm a fast forward from last night to this morning one of my boys is a recovering addict and he started a non-profit mm-hmm. so I had already decided to put 10 Homeless people in my diaries. Oh, Clean wow. them up, get them ready, boom, boom, boom. You and Nikki got to help teach, train, how to be actors. Like, you know, we, mm. we're going to do this whole thing. Right. We're not going to do it like a reality show. We're just doing it to help these lives. But that's what we're about, right? Mm. Right. So when he called me this morning, he's like, yo, you know, the recovery ball's coming up in January, blah, blah, blah. Immediately, God put on me. First of all, he's going to get a job with us. But second, the, all the hundreds of people he's already helped, I said, "Wow, we're going to do a we're going to do a program with you, bro. We're going to do a series. How you are continually helping folks, man? Like start their lives over and blah 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 blah." Mm-hmm. Nice. And he got real quiet. I'm like, "Yeah, that's what God said. We do. We got to do that." And I said, "Wow, you already know my hashtag God is good. Mm-hmm. You have to trust me. Right? You have to trust me." Right. Because there's a lot of people that are recovering at it, and there's a lot of people in and out of, like, out of prison that can't get jobs. we going to help them folks. I got you. Nice. Nice. You know what I mean? And I was telling them, we got an actor. I'm going I'm to blast them out because I'm going to tell them to listen to your Go, go, go. I'm going to tell them to listen to uh, your program. His name is G Sam. Okay. Oh, G, G, yeah, G Sam is a, uh, he's a friend of the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know G Sam. Oh yeah, Black Mafia. That's right. He's a musician. So I'm gonna I'm blast him. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's the last shoot where we 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 did our thing. Yeah. So he just bought some new Jordans, mm-hmm. like two hundred dollar Jordans. So we out there feeding the homeless in Camden. Right? Yeah. That's, you know, I I do it once a month. He do it every weekend. Right. A dude came up with no shoes on, dude. A Caucasian. He had dirty, dirty socks on. He had socks on. Mm-hmm. So the dude said to G, oh, man, I love those shoes. Wow. And then he proceeded to get the food or whatever, right, and do what he thinks. G, G stopped the dude, took the shoes off his feet. Yeah. It was the first time G wore the shoes. Mm-hmm. Now, wow. there wasn't no cameras around. Wow. There was no publicity. Yeah, yeah. And he did it with the love of God in his heart. And that's what we, we need to do, that kind of stuff, when nobody sees it. Yeah. Because God knows our heart. And that's, and I said to him, I said, bro, God won't bless you for that. Bro, yeah. you didn't have to do that. Wow. Yeah, and man. That, 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 like, but that's the love we got to have for people. You know, now, we, yeah, we man. We Hollywood Boulevard, right? Me and my girl was walking down the street, whatever. And the lady was like, oh, that's a good watermelon. Bro, we favored a watermelon. Like, it was already cut up. Right, right. There was no cameras. No, if anybody is in the need that we can help, and I think that's what God is really, really putting on my heart. We can't help everybody. But you can help somebody. So immediately in our face that we can help, or we hear about that we can really help, let's help them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because it feels good, man. And guess what? We could be right there homeless with them on the, on the other end. It could be flipped. It could be us hungry on the street. It could be us walking out there with no shoes on our feet. Yep. You know, me and Nikki, we talk about this all the time. Like, we talked about this on a few shows back. You know, all of us is is one flood, one house fire, one, you know, accident, God forbid, from being in somebody else's really, really bad situation. That's and right. the fact that we're not That's should right. give us a heart 
to have compassion on a homeless person sleeping on a vent or somebody, you know, they're not to be judged and looked down upon. You don't know how they got there, but it's but by the grace of God that we're not. But we definitely got to give a shout out to our main man, uh, G Sam, man. He um, because we share his videos when he's down in Camden feeding the homeless. He's giving them yeah. showers yeah. and all that yeah. old stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he probably didn't want you to share that. What he did, because these are things he do all the time. Yeah, these are things he do all the yeah, time. He's yeah, he he he. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people all over the world just heard it, cause y'all everywhere. Yeah. So, but that's what but that's what gives me hope. Yeah. Because like I said, the humility doesn't want nobody to know, but people around the world are seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. So I'm just saying, you know, the accolades of doing that. We need to be open heart to help people, man. And that's kind of why, why I think God is elevating me because he sees my heart. And I'm, con- I'm connected to y'all and everybody with good hearts. Yeah. yeah. And he has removed any negative or bad people away from my diary. Mm. Awesome. It. <laughs> awesome. It wasn't no arguing. It wasn't no fighting. It was, he did it. <laughs> he right, right. Him. Awesome. So I'm just excited where God is taking us, man. And... Can I can I can I tell tell about Bishop Hezekiah Walker for a minute? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Because oh, we, we couldn't could, wait for we you were, to get there. We could not <laughs> wait for you to get okay, to that part. Okay, so Kenny Black, who was the music director for Total and Bad Boy Tour, like he's a famous, famous drummer. I casted it. Yeah, you met him. He was at the last shoot. Yeah. Orange, New Jersey. Yep. So Kenny is is a decorated. He's got nominated for a Grammy, right? So. Kenny was like, look, I know you want Denzel because we've been kind of trying to negotiate with Denzel, right? We can't really afford him because we want, we get like 20 million of film. So our budget is right now 5 million. So okay. we, can't, we can't afford it, right? So so Kenny was like, yo, you ever think about Hezekiah Walker? I said, nah, I never met him. You know, I love his music. He said, listen, Hez is that, ca- that casting of a, of a um, a minister in your film and TV show has will kill that because he do that every day. He mentors young people every day. He travels all over the world to sing gospel and spread the word of Jesus Christ because mm-hmm. that was the part. It was a minister, preacher part. So I said, I'm going to set up a meeting. So I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm like, man, has got Grammys, fellow. I mean, he's known the last twenty years. My favorite gospel singer. Yeah. Never thought about meeting him, but always was like, man, I would be dope. He takes me to Brooklyn to his church on a prayer meeting night. He was having prayer too. He they was going in on a seven o'clock on a Tuesday night, mm. Wednesday night. So after prayer meeting. I'm already like, thank you, Jesus, from the prayer meeting, because Bishop can preach. Yeah, he can. So anyway. Yes, he can. <laughs> he calls me up. He's like, he's like, come on up. I said, man, bro, I'm so nervous right now. He said, nervous? He said, man, I'm from the hood. I'm just like anybody else. And listen, how you doing? <laughs> 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 he's just like us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when I gave him the vision of why we're doing what we're doing and who we want to help, he said, listen, I'm with you. He didn't ask me how much I was paying him. He didn't ask me nothing. He said, you know what's funny? He said, two weeks ago, I was in a meeting with Sony Pictures. Because he'd been a Sony recording artist for the last 20 years. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. Last now here and and, and where y'all at, he, they gonna call him. Oh, I heard you was in this film because we really haven't put it on Q show or none of that yet. Okay, and y'all gonna be the first ones to tell people that Bishop Hezekiah Walker is the lead star in the Mob Diaries film. Wow! Right. So you heard it well, first on the Kevin and Nikki show. You just did it. You just Woo! did it, baby. You get the bell. Yeah. Yes, you sir. Just did it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you you the first one, right? So long story short. I said, listen, God is telling me this, Bishop. If you appear and let us use your churches and blah, 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 as my lead man, I will write a Christian film because that was already on my heart anyway. Okay. I already had a concept to write a Christian film. I got to do that. Mm-hmm. But 
the way to reach the masses today is we have to meet we meet people where they are. Right. So people like mafia films, the mafia, you got hey for them to come to get God's word, they want to turn in and watch the film for the reasons they want to watch. Right. Nice. Nice. God's gonna sneak up in it and touch them. So yeah. that's a surprise element. They don't even know what's about to happen. Yeah. But they're going to get God and they ain't even prepared for it, which is okay. Right. Because God is going to change their lives. Nice. Right? But those Christian films, those people that normally would never watch a Christian film, they're going to get God in my diary. We're going to do a Christian film for the Christians and folks like that. Mm-hmm. But God wants us to get outside of the church and reach people and help people on the streets, nice. and walking around, nice. normal life people, not people that's already got it together in church. Well, supposedly got it together in church, but He wants us to reach the world outside of those four walls, and that's one of the things my diaries has already done. Right, right. With two hundred and seventy castmates praying before we film, praying before we cast. He's already connected people like me, y'all, y'all, my family. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So he's already done miraculous things in our lives already. Yeah. But the world, they better get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. At home, getting seen. Mm-hmm. You know what? Going to movie theater, getting seen. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, I share, I share a quick story, man. I had the chance to meet Hezekiah Walker. Uh, my mom and my brother used to attend his church up in Ben Salem. And, you know, he's a bishop, so okay. he's kind of back and forth between his, um, church in Brooklyn and Ben Salem. Mm-hmm. And you talk about, you talk about a fiery preacher that can preach with the anointing of God, man. Man, I'm going to tell you, I was sitting there listening to him preach, right? The next thing I know, I woke up on the floor. I was picking myself up off the floor, what? man. I guess I got hit with the spirit and I was laying in the middle of the aisle. And the only thing I remember hearing was Bishop walk by and say, just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. <laughs> I'm telling a true story. I was stressed out. I was stressed out in the aisle, man. You got slain in the aisle. I got bed. slain. I was, man, listen, they had the little, uh, net, you know, like the little quilt over yeah. me and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but he got the Wait preaching, man. Minute. He's a he's a dynamic preacher, man. He's a dynamic preacher. Yeah. What'd you say? You woke up and you were on the floor. I woke up. I was on the floor. I had the had the little napkin over me and stuff. The mother of the church was around me. <laughs> I still can't remember what happened to this day. Slayed in his spirit. No. That stuff is real, and you know I'm all wow. ca- I'm, I'm kind of like calm, cool, and collective, kind of sitting there, just you know tapping my feet. You know everybody else standing up, clack, clapping, rocking side to side. I'm all kind of cool. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm waking up off the floor. <laughs> yeah. Yo. I'm gonna beat that. I'm gonna beat that story. Yo. I'm, listen. Uh, he invited me to go out to look at the church in Ben Salem because that's gonna be the first, you know, the first part of the. The church. We got two church services. Okay. One in the, in the funeral, and then one in the church, like regular praise, like yo, praise, dancing, fire, right? Right, right. That was a part of the agreement too. Okay. If we gonna do this. We gotta do real church. We not doing the fake stuff that's been in some of these films. And yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. He said, no, we gonna let God come on in and do the thing. Y'all just roll the camp. Just keep the camera rolling. Right, right. We doing real church. We gonna be in a real service. This ain't no acting. We doing a real service, mm-hmm. so the anointing is going to show up anyway. This ain't no fake church. We we have in church, right, right. So now it's, I went to see the church. The next week or two, I said, you know, I got to go to church because when I went it was at night, and you know, and the singing was re- ridiculous. Yeah. After he finished preaching, the next thing I knew, I was joining the church. <laughs> no. Now, I mean, listen, I ain't joined the church in 25 years. <laughs> I was He's the joining the church. <laughs> Before I know it, now I've been visiting church. I'm talking about saying I want this to be my church home. Right, 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 right. I couldn't even explain to him what happened. Right, I, right, I, right. I was honest with him, said, man, I had no, I was on purpose, I wasn't going to join the church because I didn't want him to feel like. I only joined because he joined my cast. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, 
me and Arlene, before we knew, we was in the front of the church joining the church. I got you. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I got you. Hey, I'm going to tell you, man. I'm going to tell you. He's a very... Wow. Yeah, man. Listen, Bishop Hezekiah Walker is a... He's a... He is a very... Huh? We church members of the Ben Salem Church. Right, right. Yeah, man. Listen. Bishop Hezekiah Walker is a very anointed preacher of God, man. And let me say this, man. Um, He made this song called God Favored Me. And, yes. you know, people, people, you know, talk about the anointing and all that old stuff, but you get the anointing, you get the anointing through going through suffering and pain. Mm-hmm. And right. when you get a song produced like God favored me, and that's my testimony as well. I mean, every time I hear that song, like tears, like well up in my eyes, because that's my testimony too. But that song that we get the benefit from, was due to suffering and pain in his life. Yeah. And if right. you ever got a chance to sit down and talk to him, you know what I mean? He would, he would let you know that that's what it is. I heard this one story while we were, um, you know, like I said, my mom and my brother used to attend the church and I would visit periodically that Angela Bassett, they, uh, came up to Bishop Hezekiah Walker and just hugged him and started crying and told him, thank you for that song. So you talk about touching lives, man, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, 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 you know, you got some people that's just preachers and then you got some people that's just anointed and he would, he would be in that category. Good ministers. That's yeah, what I call man. Ministers. Listen, there's people that's doing it for money. Mm-hmm. He loves people. He doing it for the people. Yeah. You can tell it. It's a difference. Yeah. yeah. You can tell a difference. Yeah. Some are called, hey, you fewer chosen. Man, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to be, um, Talking to him, if it's okay, could y'all interview him on your on your? Can I connect him with y'all on your? Sure. Listen, when you go to ask him, tell Bishop he knocked me out in the uh, in the aisle. You know what? You tell. I'm telling. You tell Bishop Hezekiah Walker that the Kevin and Nikki show would love, love to, to have, have him. him. That's right. We would yeah. love to have him love on our have show. Him. Call in. You have to let me know what dates open. Whatever, whatever works for him. Whatever works for him. Yeah, whatever he works for him, we'll work around his schedule. schedule. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you know what's funny about him too, man, and I, I pray to God keeps me that same way. He's such a superstar. Yeah. Yeah. But he humble and down to earth. Yes, though. he is. Bro, he put on jeans like me and you. He just like you would never know. Yeah. You never know. Now he when he dressed going to church now, you know, he's sharp. He's sharp, yeah, he's yeah. Sharp. He sure is sharp. He's sharp. <laughs> he just had a pair of jeans on and a t shirt, man, and some shoes at the at the prayer meeting. Yeah. Uh, like, he ain't got Versace on, you know, you not you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just a regular dude, man. So when he when he talked to because I told him I said, I don't I am so nervous calling him. Like he gave me a cell, like, yo, you call me, whatever you need me to do. You know, he, 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 he like, you know, I'm connected with everybody. So Jay-Z and all them, on any given Sunday, they in my front row. Mm. Yep, down in Brooklyn. Is, in Brooklyn, yeah. yeah. If you Google Hezekiah, his nickname is the hip-hop minister, the hip-hop preacher. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That's, a, yeah, they, they, that's what they nicknamed him. Yes. Yeah, the hip-hop yeah, preacher. Yeah. yeah. Will you make that he call to Bishop? Said, no, you call me when you need me, whatever. Nice. So that's that's a brother. Like he, he literally is my bishop now. But before I joined, he was like, "Call me." Yeah. Don't don't feel like just because I'm a celebrity, you can't. I would have never gave you my number if I didn't want to be connected. Because you know, people are always trying to get at him for whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. And so I just thank God for that. I thank God that he's developed in that relationship, and I thank God that he, he when he saw the trailer, he was like. I was like, there should be some blood in here now. <laughs> 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 I said, I wasn't always a bishop. He said, in Scarface, in Goodfellas, they t- two of my top films that I like. And he said, let me go in further. You see these brothers in this church? Half of them been in jail. <laughs> say that. <laughs> what? In, they've been in jail. They've yeah. been in the street. they gangsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But God has changed their life. He changed their life, yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Dude, and let me yeah. say this. And let me say this. And them guys got his back too. Yes, they do. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody want to come up in there starting some stuff, you better come in there at your own risk. 
they'll go to jail for him. Bro. Yeah, no question. No question. Oh, no question. Yeah. Because he yeah. always gives. He's helping people all the time. You know what I mean? Nice. Because I told him, you know, I got some stories, right? People, I, I might be in Walmart. Somebody be like, you know, you can't be popping up in Walmart. Why are you? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm going to always ch- shop at Walmart, Goodwill, Target. Uh, hey, Rob, man, they're they not sending us no checks, man. You're giving them shouts out, man. <laughs> Look, they got to send us some checks before they start. <laughs> you know what? Come on, Target, Walmart. <laughs> listen, listen, Bishop, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to have to walk around with bodyguard. I don't want that life. I just want to bless people, help people, have the income to pay people's mortgages off, pay yeah. their gas bills, and yeah. to feed them. Yeah. That's what I want. I don't want nobody to know how what bald head look like my face look like. Yeah, but unfortunately, unfortunately. we yeah. live in times where the higher the Lord takes us up, the bodyguards will be neat. But here, here here's a, I, but let, let me share a secret with you, though. The secret is the lower you get, the higher he takes you. That's and it. what I heard Rob say is, I don't want that. That's why you're getting it. Yeah, mm-hmm. But that's why you're getting it, Rob. And you're going to continue to get it because yes. you're being humble. You're being thankful. You're being grateful. Yes. And you are, you know, giving the credit to God. And as long as you keep doing that, man, you know, he's going to keep t- continue to keep elevating you. Yes, he yeah. is. So, yeah, man. Let but, me say this real, real quick. And I appreciate that. I, you know, I love y'all, man. Y'all, y'all my family. Oh, we love you, too. Love you, too, my brother. I went into that meeting, the dude, you know, Vietnamese and Chinese, they, they have that Buddha thing. Like they don't yeah, they don't yeah. worship Jesus Christ and God. Right. So we had our dinner. We had a good meeting. We're on board. They're on board with what I'm doing. And it's a done deal. Mm-hmm. Done deal. Which is, thank God for the done deal because let's just say we're going to be able to bless a lot of people just with the product. And right. even though I ain't you know, the, the beverages like that, to be able to give people jobs and be able to help people from that, from that opening, that blessing, I appreciate that. Yeah. But also what he said to me was, was the biggest compliment he could have gave me. He says, I respect your love for God. Mm, wow. That messed me up. That messed me up, to be honest. Because I've been saying, y'all know, I, my hashtag is God is good. So I've been yeah. saying God is good yeah. for a long time. Right. Yeah. And if you scroll down my page, you'll see thousands of people saying it back to me. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> and that's, that's a blessing too. But when people who don't believe in Jesus Christ, and that's why my diaries and the other eight programs and TV shows that I've created, that I didn't even tell y'all about yet, but they coming too, because we're going to present a whole package. And it's some big people. I'm just going to say big people that are going to be connected after this trip. I mean, big people that the world know. Nice. Like, thank you, Jesus, for that. But anyway, to, to leave that, that table, and, you know, I don't know how many Asian friends y'all got. I only have one other. His name is Rob. Y'all probably know Rob from from the movie we was in. Right, Rob Darren. Uh, yeah. So From he's decay. my only mm-hmm. okay. Asian friend. Okay. Right? And Rob is like a brother, too. Yeah, he's a good brother. Rob, good actor, to good brother, too. To leave a meeting. Yeah, to leave a meeting with a multimillionaire, a person from a different ethnic background, and he says, man, I appreciate your love for God, and after tonight, you meeting me and my wife, you are now our brother. Mm. Nice. You know that don't happen. That's God. Yeah. That's yeah. God. That's not Robert Hughes is so great. That's right, you know. Right, right. Well, it's the favor of God is on me, and I want that to to transfer into everybody loving each other. Forgetting this Trump and all this crazy stuff going on. That's what we're missing. We're missing love for for, for one another, and common respect. And if we can respect and love each other. The world is just going to be a better place, especially America right now. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think that's about to happen with us. God's favor is on the project, and anybody connected to the project is going to be blessed. 
And that favor is going to extend into their friends and their family's lives. And people watching will be like, wait a minute. Maybe I'm a little racist. Maybe I need to change myself. Yeah. Maybe am I teaching my kids to be this way? Mm. Maybe, maybe I should say good morning to my African-American neighbor that growing up, my Italian or whatever, Irish father was like, you know, we don't mix with them. Right, got you. What, what, what in my life, because that's on purpose what God wanted me to write, is to address things that are happening, bullying, all this racism, different things that's going on in the world where people have to step back and say, wow. Mm. Wow. Let me check myself for a minute. What, 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 what am I, what kind of parent am I being right now? What kind of neighbor, what kind of brother or son or wife or husband? Maybe I need to change and, and love more. Right. Y'all probably don't realize I always go spread love. Yeah, you do, yeah, man. Yeah, you do, you do. You do. Back in the day, that was one of my favorite songs. There you go. But spread more love. Yeah. It don't even cost nothing. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'll say good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing, sis? And I get the beard like eyes, bro. Yeah. Ain't not used to people saying good morning and being nice. We gotta do that. But well, you know, you know what, Rob, man? We gotta do different crazy things. <laughs> yeah, man. I just look. We just want to encourage you. Continue to be the yes. change that the world needs to see. That's what you are. That's what you're doing. You, uh, you have the right heart set, man. And uh, yeah, man. We definitely want to thank you so much, man, for taking time out of your busy schedule, man, to come on the show. You already know that you are a brother beloved, a friend of the show, a family member of the show. We definitely want to have you back because we got to keep our listeners engaged with these updates and stuff. And yeah, brother, if you can get Bishop Hezekiah Walker That's to come right. on the Kevin and Nikki yeah. show, please let us know. We'll work around his busy schedule. One more thing. Yeah, go ahead. Continue. I'm talking about you and Nikki. Mm-hmm. Continue to inspire people to be the best they can be. Hmm. continue to inspire people if they want to be actors directors or whatever they inspire they can do it with work hard with hard work and it, you know I'm not telling you what to do but yeah God if they can add God to their life it's going to happen in this time it's going to happen hmm. and you know, a lot of times we try to be politically correct and not talk about God and not talk about politics and different things. But people need to know, after you done tried everything, just give God a little shot. See what he yeah. can do. You yeah. tried everything else and failed. Yeah. And that's kind of where he changed my life. I'm like, yo, I didn't try to do it on my own. I, and I couldn't. Once I allowed him to take the, the wheel, he blasted, he took the wheel and started running through doors with the car. Mm. that's where we are. So, yeah, we got to trust and have some faith, but also keep encouraging people that they can be whatever they want, from children to if they 80 and they want to be an actor. Right. Y'all are doing that. That's showing people every day that you're living your dream and you're showing good in the world. So I encourage y'all, keep spreading love and loving everybody with God's love and and keep doing your thing, man. Oh, yeah, we sure, we, 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 we sure are, man. All the time, I love. You. Yeah. Thank hey, you. before you, you go, more. before you love you too, man. But before you go, man, put your social media out there in case people want to follow you on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and follow Mob Diaries. And you know, maybe hey, they might want a shot at being you know an extra or actor in Mob Diaries. Take this time to put your social media out there. You, so you know it's funny, man. Somebody has already been trying to connect me to Lee Daniels and a few people in Hollywood, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wait, I'm not really ready yet for that. Let me, let me, let me get, let me get one of these projects out, and then I'll you can connect me with Tyler Perry and whoever. That's all good, right? Because I need to do this on my own. I don't need them to help me yet. But I'm going to say this: anybody out there that wants to be an actor, that wants to be a director, producer. I'm willing to help and train whatever I can do to help. That's number one. Number two is we're going to be doing a multiple amount of shows that we need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of actors or models or people who aspire to act to contact us. So 
so we can put you down. Now, nice. I also want to connect some nonprofit stuff because what we're going to do, 10%, I already told the big wigs. It's going to multiple charities throughout the United States and the world. So we're going to be helping folks. Nice. So they can reach us at, I think, is my at my diaries Instagram. Facebook is my diaries. Um, Gmail is my diaries at gmail.com to submit their resumes, their 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 real and their you know their their photos, whatever. Yeah. Or just say what's up, and then of course Robert Shoes. I can't. I'm at the limit. I can't accept more friends. <laughs> they can IM me, right? You right. Know, I don't know how that why they put that five thousand block on it, but they did, right? Yeah. But. Yeah, anything I could do to help anybody, especially young, inspiring. I'm getting ready to put something out there. It's going to be the youngest film director in the history, and she's 10. Wow. Nice. So watch out for that. Nice. All right. Nice. Well, look, we can end on that one right there, man. You sure can. <laughs> we can end on that right there, bro. Right? Yeah, y'all know Anaya Wolf. Oh, yeah. Director. Absolutely. I think, so. I think she's like 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, right? She, she came. We had her as a guest on the show. Yeah, so I want to connect this young lady with her so she can inspire her directly. Right. But yeah, we want to we want to encourage people to live their dreams. My company is Dreams Do Come True. And so, yo, yo keep praying for me, man. Sure, yeah, will. definitely you will. Know? And let's, let's make some change in this world. Let's help and out. we're going to yeah, do there it. There we go. Because yes. tomorrow's not promised, so we got to do what we got to do today. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so all right. All right, brother. Love you more. Love, love you, man. Enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs> All right, peace. God bless. Yeah, God bless. Bye bye. Awesome. That was awesome. I mean, he's he's just awesome. Yeah, Rob is down Rob, to Rob, earth. Rob is an awesome. You dude, know, man. he just. I mean, here's the thing, and it's the way I look at it. It's he's one of them guys that you can say what you want about him. Yeah. When you listen to him talk, you hear his heart and passion for loving and helping people, and you can't knock that. You can't. You cannot you knock can't. that. He, he get the bell. He get the bell. He get the bell for being awesome. He, yeah, because, and, you know, Mob Diaries has completely blown up. Yeah, definitely. It completely. Like the, everybody waiting for it. Everybody Everybody's waiting, waiting for it. it. It's completely blown up. The, ch- the cast has completely changed. And, you know, he is just doing his thing he, he doing his Mob thing. Diaries. I mean, yeah. he got... A listers up in my yeah, diet. and he's and he's rubbing shoulders with yeah, multi millionaires yeah. and things like that. But there People was so wanting to jump on board. Yeah, there was so many nuggets, man, that I was just gleaming from listening to him speak about life. It seemed like the ones that are not reaching for the glory mm-hmm. tend to get it. Tend to get it. You know what I mean? The ones that thought, and and not in all cases, of course. Mm-hmm. Um. But the ones that thought, man, I, I never thought I'd be here. Yeah. This wasn't something I planned on. Yeah. And then I like yeah. the yeah. fact that he was able to connect with someone from a different culture by showing love. Mm-hmm. Love is a universal language. I don't care what your religion is, what your race, what your sexuality is. Love is a universal language. And the biggest Bible anybody's going to carry, no matter what your religion is, is going to be love. It's going to be love. And when they see that, you can sell them on a lot of stuff that you believe as long as they can determine that it's authentic. That's and for this Vietnamese guy to say, you are now our brother. And I'm familiar with the Asian culture. Yeah. Asian people don't accept you as friends just like that. Right. Now, this is what I was told from some Asian people. Okay. If you make an Asian person um, as a friend, mm-hmm. you made a friend for life. Nice. But if you make them as an enemy... You made an you enemy, an enemy for, life. for life. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So for this, you know, guy to be, hey, you now our brother, something positive transpired at the table. And he didn't read John 316. Mm-hmm. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? So it said it speaks to what love can do if we just shed and spread more love in the world. That's in the Bible where it says the greatest of these is love. That's right. Yeah. Right. You can have all that stuff. Get but talents, ability. If you ain't got love, you don't have yeah, nothing. Hey, you don't have nothing. You're, you're an empty wagon. What do you say? Uh, uh, an empty symbol, empty sound, something like that. I can't remember, but all you, I know, all I know is you <laughs> empty. <laughs> yeah. The greatest of these is love. That's so right. awesome, awesome interview. Yeah, awesome interview. Awesome interview. Our brother Robert Hughes, director, love, Robert. writer of uh, Mob Diaries, coming through. 
you know, to tell to update us basically. Yeah, pretty much. On Mob Diaries. Yeah. You know, he got so much going on. We needed an update. Yeah, we had it for real. And we yeah. get we get Bishop Hezekiah Walker. We so. and, and shout out to Bishop Hezekiah, Hezekiah Walker, Walker, who's yeah. gonna be on our show. Yeah, we're gonna shout speak it we're gonna speak it into existence. Speak it into existence. <laughs> I heard a sermon tell listen, me to I'm speak it into to, existence. Listen, I'm gonna have to go back into into the archives. Uh, that's right. Back into the archives because I, I grew up. On Bishop Hezekiah. Oh yeah, no question, man. I grew up so, and yeah. and I'm and, and it's so funny how you were talking about the um the song uh God, God favorite, favorite, favorite me, me. Yeah. is because you never you never know what a person is going through, yeah. and sometimes it only takes for one song, mm-hmm. one word. To move their spirit, yeah, you know what I mean. Like that, that to make song them feel so sh- much better. Man, listen, that song. I mean, I know he's he went through suffering and pain because yes. I understand that uh, that the about the anointing and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You get that by going through suffering, yeah. And so some the the we get the benefit from that song due to personal yeah. suffering and pain that he went yeah. through. But man. The song is very, very deep. If you have not heard the song, listen to a song called God Favored Me. It's the song talks about he been lied on. Mm-hmm. People been telling a whole lot of lies, but God still favored him yeah. and showed him love. Yeah. Man, tears well up in my eyes every time I hear that song because that's my testimony yeah, too. Because it goes, they whisper, conspire, they told their lies. They, yeah. God favored God me. God favored me. Yeah, that's I like. Yeah. I like the whole song is just awesome. It's awesome, but. The part that gets me is we, when, we might need to play that song on the show. Yeah, the part that gets me is when he says they whisper, Bird. conspire, Fire. They, they told, told their it. lies. They told their lies. God favor me. And and I know that little paragraph yeah. right there. Those three lines. Yeah. That's somebody out there where on their job, this, this, they're yeah. whispering about them, talking about them, telling yeah. lies on them, yeah. and through all of that. God favored them, moved them up in their position, moved them away from them, right, right. and showed or, them or sustained you through it while or, you still stayed in. You know, and you know what I mean. So all of that is is nothing but you know the favor of God. I, yeah. I love that song. Well, look, this, you, Nick, I, this is what I feel led to do. I'm not trying to sound oh all spooky. It's October. I ain't trying to sell oh off. At the news and sports, we need to play that song. Okay. Yeah, because okay. somebody might need somebody somebody's on their job getting yes. lied on. Yes. Somebody's being conspired against. Yes. Somebody's character's being defamated, yes. and they might need to be encouraged by that song. Okay. We so can I think do it. We're gonna, after we're news and sports, after we're going to play. But I'm going to tell you, though, what? what song moves my spirit? Gratefulness. Okay, that's that's enough. Gratefulness, because I remember where I was when I first heard that song. Right, right. I was in the process of trying to... Okay, well, let's play that song before Kevin's... Let's change the songs up. So we're going to play... <laughs> since you added that song in, let's play... Let's do news and sports. God favored me. We're going to do What's Bother Nikki, okay. then Grateful, 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 okay. then Kevin's Corner. Okay. So we're going we gonna to switch it up for y'all. We're going to switch it up. We're going to switch our... our, our what, Forget what, all the music y- that was yeah, going yeah. for today. So we're, we're going to switch yeah, it up. Yeah, we're going to... Our, our, our regularly scheduled program has been interrupted <laughs> so that you might be encouraged. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got news and sports. What, oh, wait. To, what happened to my story? Wait, you said you played... Um, if you, you remember where you was? Where, yeah. Okay. I was in the process of buying my house and the oh, process was... I so, thought you was done. No. Okay. You said you remember where you was, then you stopped. The process, because you you interrupted and you started talking about the music. Okay. And the the process was completely hard, and I didn't think I was going to get the house. Okay. And I was given such a hard time between the bank and and the woman that I had as the realtor. It was it was just a mess. Okay. And so when I finally got the house and I was unpacking my things, moving things in, that's the song that came on the radio. Yeah. And I was like, that's it. That's it right there. I rem- I remember too, um, because like I said, I was on my job being lied on. Yeah. You know, when you're the one yes. down there that don't want to blend in with the culture and falsifying yep. documentation yep. and yep. all this stuff. Yep. They yep. were lying on me and conspiring lying to get me conspiring. fired. I'm still there. Still there. You know what I'm saying? And I would go out to my car 
and turn on, turn the key, mm -hmm. and that song would just be coming just on. Be coming and on. I would sit there, and just tears would kind of well up in my eyes because I knew it was as if God was speaking to me that though they're trying to do these things to you, mm -hmm. I my favor got you. Yeah. Yeah. So, and another see see now we see, all we, up, we all yeah, up we, on, we, we, just, we all up on the church. All right. So another one of my favorites is Perfect Peace. Okay. By Keith Pringle, that will keep you in perfect peace. All right. So you want to play that song again? No. Because <laughs> we're running we'll, out of we'll song space. We're running out of song <laughs> space. <laughs> we're, we're running out. We're all right, running out. Let's get the news in sports. All right. All right. So in sports, the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers beat. The Charlotte Hornets, 105-103 in a squeaker. <clears throat> J.J. Reddick hits a shot down the stretch to give the Sixers the lead, who went on to win. Joe L. Embiid led the way with 27 points and 14 rebounds. And the Charlotte Hornets star, Kemba Walker, gave a valiant effort, scoring 36 points, 6 assists, and 6 rebounds. But Joe L. Embiid... Uh, start to the 2018-19 NBA season has been nothing short of spectacular. Um, his red-hot start continued during the Philadelphia 76 105-103 win over the Charlotte Hornet as the 24-year-old 24 racked up his sixth straight double-double to start the year. Not only that, but the 27 points and 14 rebound performance also meant that his string of games with 20-plus points were extended to six. So with the huge games, uh, Sixer stats revealed that Embiid became the first player in franchise history to score 20 plus points and 10 rebounds or more rebounds in six straight games to start the season. And the crazy thing about it was it was unknown if Embiid would play, um, in this game after spraining his ankle in practice. But fortunately, he not only played, but to, together, uh, he put together an efficient and well-rounded performance as well. The Sixers star, a final stat line, 27 points, 14 rebounds, two assists, and two block shots over 37 minutes. Mm. He also shot 10 for 22 from the field, making this the fourth game this season in which he shot 45% nice. or better. Nice. That's all nice. I have in sports. Nice. The only nice. thing I would nice. say to Joel Embiid, Get under the basket, man. He want, he's like a seven basket. foot guard. Sometimes he, sometimes he, now he can hit the three point shot. Okay. He can hit it. He can hit it consistently. Yeah. But, uh, you know, most of the time they want to see big man under the basket. Get under the basket. Get under the basket, basket Joel. Get under there, Joel. <laughs> there you go. All right. In Great news, game. In news. Mm -hmm. In news. In news. And you know what? It's, it's so funny that we were talking about all this, all this, uh, the gospel music to move our spirits and to uplift us because a lot of things, a lot of negative things have been going on in the news. So right. maybe us changing our music today might uplift, might somebody. uplift somebody yeah. because um, 46 year old Robert D. Bowers opened fire at the tree of life Jewish synagogue in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. 11 members of the congregation has been killed and four police officers injured during the shooting. Now, Robert Bowers, he was taken into custody, but not after he exchanged gunfire with the police that left him injured. And sources say they're not sure if the, if his injuries were due to him being shot a few times by the police or self-inflicted. Okay, now Robert is charged with 29 counts of criminal counts, obstructing of justice, obstructing the free exchange of religious beliefs, a hate crime, and using a firearm to commit murder. And the state also charged him with 11 counts of criminal homicide, 6 counts of aggravated assault, and 13 counts of ethnic, ethnic intimidation. intimidation. Got you. And um, it said that Bowers had two handguns, an AR-15 rifle, and another rifle that looked like it was homemade. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny that um, it's so ironic that um, we're talking about this story because they they brought on some psychology major, mm -hmm. and a psychology major said, you know, when a thought lays dormant in you, when you when you factor in your mind that this is how things are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Nothing can change your mind that is not supposed to be that way. So he referenced um, 74-year-old Frazier Glenn Miller. Frazier Glenn Miller on April 13th, 2014, shot and killed at least three people in the or Overland Park Jewish Community Center. 
And then he also made reference to 24-year-old Dylan Roof. And he was a young man who shot and killed nine church members on June 17, 2015 and injured one in the Charleston, South Carolina shooting. So he was basically saying that when you factor in your mind that this is how something is supposed to be, nobody can change your mind on that. And if somebody tried to tell you something different, then you act out. And, and both, both what, of the men were members of the of, white supremacy group Both as of well. them, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and it's crazy because both of these shootings, Dylan and Glenn Frazier, 14 months apart, and both of them are sitting on death row. Yeah. And they were trying to figure out, you know, what... Trump was going to say from this, and mm-hmm. people are displeased with Trump for not making a better comment. Well, you started talking about the death penalty, right? No, Trump attended a. That was his second comment. Yeah, he did say that. Comment. But his yeah. first comment, he attended a Future Farmers Convention in Indianapolis, followed by a rally in Illinois, where when he heard about the shooting, he pretty much joked about his hair, and many people said that the comment was made in poor taste. When asked if he would leave the convention, he said that the only reason he would cancel the convention, the convention was because of his hair. And people are like, you have people, you have schools being shot up, you have church members being shot up, and you want to talk about your hair. Well, I mean, you know, people voted for him. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying mean, people voted for him. They, this is who they wanted to make America great again, and this is what they got. And um, yeah, this is who we have. This so. is who we have now. In, in other news, Ray Carruth, remember Ray mm-hmm. Carruth, the football player, he's out of jail now. He's out? He's out. Wow. Ray Carruth is out. Okay. After he was serving, a, he played for the Carolina Panthers. He was the one that... Served, he was the one who that, was responsible for his baby's mother being shot, shot and killed. And killed. Yeah, I remember now, that. here's the thing. Ray Carruth is out. He was in jail for 19 years, which is pretty much where his son is now. Son is 19 years old now. Mm -hmm. And Ray wants to have a relationship with his son. Okay. Now, that brings me to the question of the day. So the question of the day simply is this. If you have a family member who was murdered, and the person who murdered the family member, they have children together and that, and the person who murdered the family member goes to jail and then that person comes out. Would you allow that person who committed the crime to see the children? Ain't nobody chiming in on that one. That is a good question. I mean, but okay. What would you do? I would say no. Okay. You want to know why I would say no? Because that child will have to relive that over again. So wait a minute. So the son that's nineteen was the baby that she was pregnant when yes. she was, when she died. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. And, cause he's, he, and he's nineteen years old now. Okay. Now here's the thing. Here, here's here's going. Here's a few factors. Um, and I'm sure because of the media and how you know things aren't can't really be hid like this. Mm-hmm. I'm. I would like to believe that he was aware. That, that she was pregnant. That she was pregnant with him yes. when she died. Yes. So because the the sources sources say during that time he did not want her to keep the child. He didn't want her to have the baby because she yeah. said she was going to keep the child. He to get out of paying child, child support. support yeah. He had her killed. Right. Yeah. I'm my guess. And this is just my educated guess is that the son is probably not going to want to have. A relationship with them. Mm-hmm. Um, why I appreciate the attempt, but there's certain behaviors that you do to people or attempt to do to people that while they might forgive you, if if he has forgiven, the son has forgiven him, mm-hmm. it's going to be a little bit hard to get over. Because, you know, I, if I could just in my mind, just put myself in the son's shoes, my whole thing with you tried to kill me. Yeah. So why would I want to have a relationship with you and you tried to kill me unless he just have a, a heart of a heart of forgiveness? And that's that'd be interesting to see how that unfolds. That would be that would yeah. be very interesting. Now, in entertainment news, okay, Ti has a video out. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure everyone heard of the video, but Ti has a video out. In the vi- in the video, there is a woman who is an I- Ivanka. Ivanka lookalike, Ivanka Trump lookalike. Now, the woman is receiving death threats. You know, they're calling her on her phone. They're threatening to kill her, you know, for doing this video. 
and impersonating Ivanka in mm-hmm. the video. Mm-hmm. Now, here, here, here's my thing. I'm just going to say it. How are you calling her and threatening her over her phone when you didn't call nobody else? Mm-hmm. Cat Williams talk about Ivanka all the time. Right. Did you call T.I.? It's his video. Oh, well, T.I. get some rifles out of his, Le- out of the trunk of his car. You know? Okay. <laughs> but mean, they ain't going to mess with T.I. <laughs> it's, it's his video. Right, Did you right. call him on his phone? Yeah. <laughs> no, but you gonna call this poor girl and threaten to kill her because she was Ivanka in the video? Come on now, I, I said they ain't nobody. They ain't nobody. Um, Secret Service calling her. That's Trump people calling her. I got you. That's Trump people calling her on the phone. Ain't right, nobody right. really. Ain't nobody calling her. Trump's like call her on the phone and just threatening her, threatening her. That's all that is. Mm-hmm. Ain't no Secret Service calling her on the phone because if you really want to be honest, half of the. Okay, I'm not going to say it. Well, well, well. And, and 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 you know, I, well, I was going to say something about the Secret Service. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that be. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it be. I'm gonna leave it be. I'm gonna leave it be. But uh, I'm I'm just anyway. saying, if you want to call her, then you got to call everybody right, because right. everybody has ha- has said something. It's been in the news what people have said. It's been on Twitter what people have said, and people have made jokes about her. Mm-hmm. Like I said, Cat Williams talk about her all of the time. In in his in his uh, comedy shows, mm-hmm. one of the comedy shows is that may has made make America great again. Mm-hmm. He talked about her in there. So if you want to threaten her, then threaten everybody else. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's some it. good news. I mean, I, I, I want to you know kind of go back to the you know Jewish synagogue shooting. Man, it's just like you know where have we where have we you know, move to as a society, like mm-hmm. I said, when we're shooting up churches, Jewish synagogues, mosques, and things like that. And I think that the message that Rob was sharing um, about spreading love, yeah. you know what I mean? Spread love. About spreading love. I mean, this is, this is, you know, a time for our country to be resilient. This is a time for our country to exemplify the good qualities of the human spirit, love being the one of them. But definitely being one of the preeminent ones, man, it don't cost you a thing to spread love, man. That's right. It takes That's a lot right. of energy to spread hate and this, that, and the other. And so, yeah. Yep. So, so yeah. what we need is more love. We got to spread more love, man. That's what we're trying to do here on the Kevin and Nikki show yeah. on iHeartRadio and all across the world. We let people know that you can be encouraged, you can be inspired, you can make it, yes. you can change, you can win, you can achieve, yes. and much, much more. And my thing is, while we're talking about all of the all the gun violence that are going on, how are you going to have somebody call this girl and threaten to kill her? Right, right, right. And, 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 and you got people shooting up churches and, and, and shooting up synagogues and schools and different things like that. You're going to have somebody call her on the phone. That don't mm-hmm. make no sense. But nothing makes sense anymore. So, hey, it's the Kevin. We're going to take a break. All right. So, we're going to take a break. And as we promised you, we're going to play God Favorite Me. And no matter what your race, religion, sexuality, know that God loves you. And you're, no matter what your creed, your color, your socioeconomic status, God loves you. And mm-hmm. he, favored, he favors you. It's the Kevin and Nikki Show Gospel Radio. We're everywhere and we'll We'll be be back. This is my testimony, everybody. How God favored me in spite of my enemies. And if God did it for me, he'll do the same thing for you. Don't worry about your haters. Your haters can't do nothing with you. Listen to these words. Patient, caring, love is kind. Love is felt most. Love is felt most when, when it's genuine. You are. I, I had my share, my share of, love, of love abuse, abuse manipulated, and his strength, and his strength misused. And I can't help but to give God glory When I think about my story Oh yeah y'all I got a story to tell And 
and I know, and I know you favor me, you favor me <laughs> because my enemies, my enemies tried, they did try, they try but they couldn't try over, over me. Yes, they did try, yes, they did try but it didn't work. Let me tell you about love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. I had a whole lot of people in my life who abused my love. They manipulated it and took the strength of it and tried to misuse it. But I can't help but to give God glory today when I think about all I've been through and I still came out on the winning side. I don't know about you, but I know that he favored me. Because my, my enemies, enemies hmm, they did try. Sing it, y'all. But they couldn't triumph over me. Because great is he that is in me than he that's in the world. That's what they did. That's what they did. They told a whole lot of lies. But God favored me. My character, my integrity, my faith in God, He favors me. But it would not fall, would not bend, won't compromise. God favors me. I spoke life and prosperity. I even spoke health. He saved me. They whispered about me. They conspired against me. They told a whole lot of lies on me. But God favored me. My character. My faith in God. He favored me. It would not fall. Not going to bend. Won't compromise. I speak prosperity and I speak health. They whisper, they conspire, they told their lies, but God favored me. My character, my integrity, everything was in question, but He favored me.
to the Kevin and Nikki show on iHeartRadio and all across the world. All right. He was like, favor, favor. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Woo! That's the, listen, Man, listen, listen. I'm That's the you. song right yeah. there. If you haven't been lied I'm trying on, to tell you. If you haven't been conspired against. Listen. That's the anthem right there. That's man. that's the song right there because like I mm, like we mm, said mm. before, pe- some people are going through that right and now. now. They're being man. lied on at their job, talked about. Right, right, right. You know, all this nonsense going on. Yeah. And and not even on the you know, on the job, but also in the home, you yeah. know, with their friends. You know, people yeah. are going people are going through that. And you never know. Yeah. Where somebody is yeah. until you know a certain song come on and they and they feel that right, you know right. all up in their it, spirit. I mean, I'm gonna tell you every time I hear, hear that song, it hits me at the core of my heart. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, the core mm-hmm. of my soul. And I just believe that the fact that you know we changed it, somebody need to hear it yeah. beginning with us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because always for us first. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just very very encouraging, and inspiring. That no matter what you. Going through, man, that you know, God got your back. You yeah, know what I mean? And he got it. He, he got, got your it. back. He got it. And Let's do it one more time. Favor, favor, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You know what? Stop it. Oh man! You better stop. I love it. You I love stop. it. You better, you better stop. 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 Man. I don't even know. Listen. Mm. I don't even know if I should do what's bothering Nikki. My spirit is being lifted right now. I know. It's like it's like you don't even feel like, like you know I don't what I mean? even feel like I don't even feel like you know saying what's bothering me. I'm gonna do it though, but I'm just saying. I, don't I feel know. you. I feel you. Because because I'm telling you that, that this here mm-hmm. is really bothering y'all too. Right, right, right. So okay. so let's do it then. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So it is time for my favorite part of the show. <laughs> but anyway, it's time for what's bothering Nikki. So what's bothering Nikki? Okay, yeah. it's listen. What's bothering Nikki is going to be short because we're in the spirit right now. We're going to keep the spirit moving. So I'm going to tell you this, and I know it's going to hit home. What's bothering me this week is, is why do people try to stronghold you, other people, into like doing what they want them to do. Right, right. And I'm saying that to say this. You know how when on Facebook, when you see a post, post this. If you don't post this, Um, God ain't going to bless you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? If you don't post this, God ain't going to bless you. If you scroll past this, the Lord is not in you. And if you don't send this to at least 10 of your friends, you gonna miss your blessing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Why do you why why do you That ain't of God. Do that. And, and here's here's my favorite one. Unfriend me if you can share. Well, somebody told me that and I just unfriended them. That's that's where I left it at. Because I'm like you said, you're not going to first of all, God is in God is love. Love is not associated with guilt. Yeah. Love is not associated with penalty mm-hmm, if you don't mm-hmm, do what I mm-hmm, want you mm-hmm, to do. Mm-hmm. So all these people out here sending these little messages, basically what they're trying to do is get something to go viral. And if you have a big following, they want you to use your following a- to make exactly. what they want to go viral so that they can rather get paid or get credit for it. Stop it, people. God ain't leaving you to it. do nothing. Stop it. Because if you felt that the post was a little vulgar before you sent it to me, why you send it to me? Right, right, right. And then going to ask me to send it to, send all, it your, to all, all your my friends. friends. And if I don't do it, God ain't in me. Right, if right. I don't do it, I'm not down with this and I'm not down with that. Right, right. First of all, it's too many causes 
out here. Right, right, right. To be down with in the first place. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? It's it's too many of them. Every time I turn around, somebody had the nerve last week to ding my inbox at four o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Make this go viral. Are you kidding me? Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, and, and and you know, and I wanna I'm I'm just gonna put it out there <laughs> and I don't mean no harm. If the chain gets sent to me, it's going to die. I'm just trying to tell you. The blessing ain't moving to nobody else. It's going to die at actor Kevin D. Benton because I don't have time for three and four hundred people telling me every day to make something go viral. For stop starters. it, people. Stop it. You know for God's sake, stop it. Yeah, this, stop God it. ain't in that stuff. God is not, He's not in, in that Listen, stuff. listen. I'm blessed anyway. Anyhow, anyway, whether I send it or not, there you go. Whether I'm still I blessed. Send it or not, I am blessed. Right. And just because I happen to scroll past something, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get my blessing. Because guess That's what? Right. I'm, every day that the Lord allows me to wake up and see another day, I'm blessed. Absolutely. And I'm blessed if I don't share your post. That's I'm right. trying to tell you right now. Yeah. Stop it. It's a it's a nuisance. Yeah. yeah. It's a nuisance. And stop dinging people at 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Make this go viral. Right, if right, you right, don't, right. the Lord ain't going to bless you. Right, but right, 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 right. Yeah, I tell you, because I got a couple of them joined. Just un unfriend me right now. I said, okay, fine. And I just unfriend them. And I don't mean to be rude yes. or nasty because that's not what I project and that's not what I try to be. But nobody is going to try to control me do out of guilt, out of uh, fear, Mm -hmm. That's not of God. Love has nothing to do with guilt or fear or control. There you go. So you, you can go. stop that nonsense. Stop <laughs> all that nonsense. Stop making trying to get people to make nonsense go viral. Right, Share right, it right. with your friends. How right, about right, that? Right, right, right. How about that? You know, and, and, and see, these are the kind of things that backfire when you're talking to people who know who they are. Exactly. You know, I you know, I know who I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know the favor of God is on me. Nikki knows the favor of God is on her, whether That's we send right. it or not. That's right. And in fact, whether you send it or not, or whether we share it or not, the favor of God is on you too. That's right. You still got the blessing on you, whether <laughs> okay. somebody shared okay. or not. That's it. That's all I got. I like and it. And I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad, glad you said it. it. Yes. I'm, I, I, I was, you know what? That was something that I wanted to say. You pretty much said mm -hmm. what a lot of people want to say. I saw this post, this girl, this some young lady put up there and said, listen, I want to put y'all on notice. If the if the prayer chain comes to me, it's gonna die. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and everybody's gonna click like all the way down the page. Oh, the you know. <laughs> so you just said what a whole lot of people was thinking, man. You know, I I it got to the point where I just like scroll past it, scroll yeah. past it, scroll past it, scroll right. past it. Because right. I'm tired. Right, and then I'm not sharing nothing. And then and then on top of that, to add to that, you know, we're actors, we're entrepreneurs. So technically speaking. When we get on Facebook, we're really getting on there to work. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Not that we can't bust it up and 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 holler at you, you know, your high school teammates and friends. And we make time to touch people's lives by making sure we respond mm -hmm, and all that. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying at its organic form. Yeah. When we get on Facebook, we're really getting on there to work. Listen, I got <laughs> stuff to do today. And it does not include sharing stuff 50 times. Yeah. I'm not doing it. And then... Here's another thing. Oh, see, I got him fired. Yeah, you got him fired up. I got him fired. Up. But then you got the same people. You got like a hundred people sharing the same video yes. that they want you to make go viral. See? And I got us. I'm responding back. Yeah, I already saw this. Thanks for yes. sharing. Yes. I already saw this a hundred times. Thanks for sharing. You know what I mean? Yeah, stop, stop it, all that yo. nonsense, y'all. Come on, it, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, stop that. Okay. God, God ain't need you to do that. Stop putting. Because I, I, you know what? I'm just a true story. Yo, see, y'all. I'm gonna I'm, share this last story. This is true. This is true. The last time somebody sent me one of those, share this and you're going to get a big blessing tomorrow. Yes. I got suspended from my job. What? Yeah. Share this, share this, John, and you're going to get a big blessing tomorrow. And I got suspended from my job. So what happened to the big blessing? That's how I knew it was fake. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I knew it was fake. And I responded, bro, the last time I got one of these, I got suspended from my job. So please stop sending me. Thank you. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> and God favorite, I got lied on. 
I got a lot of them. Oh my. But, you know what? but I got to get the end. It didn't work. It, it didn't work, work. And I'm still it there. Work. Still there. And I'm not missing the beat yes. financially and all that stuff. So I got to get the triumphant yes. ending. Yes. But I had to let them know, man. Hey, this little magic, a, magic potion message, it don't work. That's a shame. You know. Uh, that's a shame. We're going to continue our... We're going to continue our gospel show. Yeah, this, this, this is the gospel edition. It's what it turned out to be. This is the gospel, this is the gospel edition, edition of the Kevin and Nikki show. And we're going to continue. Now, you heard Kev's favorite. Yeah. Now, you're going to hear mine. There we go. You're going to hear my favorite because this song here helped me when I was going through the process of buy my house. And the process was long and, and they just was they were not treating a sister right. And so when I finally got the house and I was unloading my, my boxes and, and bringing them in and the movers had already gone and I decided to turn on the radio, this is what I heard.
That that's, that's it, it right there. Yeah. I re- I remember where I was. Yeah. I was sitting. I when the song came on, I flopped down on the floor yeah. and I just started giving God, you know, the, the grateful. Praise. You know, yeah. thanks you're thankful. For, you're so thankful, man. It's like, and when you think about it, man, I know everything in our lives aren't going uh, the way we would like, maybe the way we plan. But you don't have to think, but so far to be grateful. The fact that you right. woke up, you got food right. on the table, right. clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, a little money in the bank, a car that start. If you don't have a car, if you got a bus pass or some tokens, that's something to be thankful for. If you can put one foot in front of the other, you can be, that's something to be thankful for. But I want to add to this, Nick, about them chain prayers. And I just want to add this because this is a, it's a serious thing. When you do those little chain mails and telling people that they're going to receive a blessing tomorrow and things like that. First of all, if we want to be honest, we all live on the edge of desperation. And what I mean by that is where we we live with a, I hope uh, my car don't break down today. I Mm -hmm. hope my -hmm. car doesn't get, my house doesn't get broken in. I'm hoping I don't get a pink stick on my job. So we live on the edge of desperation where one slight thing for the worst could cause us to be in a very, very bad situation. Like how we talk about it and we say, Hey, we're only one fire, one flood, you know, one, uh, you know, mishap away from being where a homeless person is. God forbid that that would happen to us or anybody under the sound of my voice or anybody period. But when you send them little chain mails that if you just pray this prayer and you're going to get this blessing or you're going to get this money, when it don't happen, you fracture people's faith in God. Because what yes. happens is they start looking at God like, okay, God, what you're happened? a liar. What happened? What happened? Yeah, what happened? And so we got to be careful with this prophecy that we try to project in people's lives and it don't happen. And you can always tell what, what according to, you know, biblical standards, yeah. a, a, a true prophet because what they prophesy comes to pass. Yeah. So, so in essence, if you send in these chain mails about how God going to bless you tomorrow and three good things going to happen to you and all this sort of stuff. And when it don't happen, you have now become a false prophet yeah. or an enable an enable yeah. enablement of false yeah. prophecy that's fracturing people. And it faith. goes back to, like I said, you don't know where people are, Yeah, you know, in their lives. Right. And so when you send things like that and people are on like people, people pretty much are. They hope for change. Yeah. They're sinking. The only thing they got out of the water is their nose to keep them from drowning right. in whatever they're going through. And then here you come saying, if you pray this prayer, prayer yeah. this is going to happen. Yeah. That's going to happen. If you go here and give your last dollar, this is going to happen. Right, That's right, going to happen. Right. And then it don't happen. You, you don't know what what you just done to that person. Right. It, it fractured you, their you don't, you don't know what you just done. Yeah. So we got to be careful. We got to be careful because people, there are people out here who are hurting and it, it, seriously yeah, yeah. hurting, you know, n- not playing games. There are people who are out here hurting. They're losing their loved, loved ones, ones on a yeah. daily basis. Yeah. You know, a man walked into the synagogue and shot up eight people. Right. And even even our friends on Facebook, a lot of them are losing loved, loved ones. ones yeah. People are passing away. And hey, we, we, we want to say on behalf of the Kevin and Nikki show, all those that are out there losing loved ones, uh, you know, like, you know, people, you know, Mother's Day comes and people celebrate yeah, Mother's Day. Yeah. Everybody don't. That's not a good day to look forward to for everybody right? because of right. the memories and the suffering yeah. and the loss. You got to be careful. We here at the Kevin and Nikki show are thinking about you, praying for you. Uh, whatever you're going through, because I don't care what you're doing, whether you're playing basketball or acting, life is still life. Yeah. And so we wanted to just put that out there yeah. because every time I turn around, yeah. somebody's asking for prayer yeah. and stuff like that. And we we're taking the time to think about you, to pray for you, to encourage yeah. and inspire you. And like to your point, Nick, like you said, people are out here wounded, fractured, broken, hurting, and they're hoping for anything that can get them over the top. Yeah. And and and, and what happens is these chain mails and you know false prophecies or what's going to happen and God going to do this big thing, yeah. He's going to bless you financially. You're preying upon the woundedness and hurts of other people, yeah. and it becomes emotional extortion. Yeah. You, you got to you got to stop that. You got to yeah. stop it. So now it's time for my favorite part of the show. 
Kevin's Corner. See, we've been getting wrapped up in all. I forgot, getting, I forgot getting, it was time for that. You time. forgot it was time uh, for but Kevin's anyway, Corner. This is going to be real short, like just like what's bothering Nikki's. Um, I wanted to give uh, the characteristics of a legend. We know that a legend uh, is traditional, traditional stories that are passed down, whether they be true or fabricated of a person about, you know, some things that they have done, you mm-hmm, know, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe it has led to fame and things like that. And I wanted to stop by today just to tell you that you don't have to be famous. Where are you stopping by from? I, I, that's my church. That's my church. <laughs> lingo. I'm in my, I'm in my church lingo, y'all. Where are you coming from? I just y'all? stopped by to tell you. <laughs> I ain't went nowhere, but I want to stop by to tell you. Where are you, you. coming from? <laughs> Look, we in, we in church mode today. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to stop by to tell you. That you can be a legend and you don't have to be famous. And I just wanted to give, I came up with these, um, these words for the, uh, that for the L in legend, the E in legend, mm-hmm. the G, the E and D. So I'm okay. going to give a, 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 a word for each letter okay. that we can encompass yes. on a daily basis, whether you be famous or not. That you can be a legend because a legend is about leaving your mark. That's right. And people remembering you for decades to come because of the mark you left. And I That's just believe right. that if you exemplify these these characteristics, whether you're famous or not, it could be in your com- home, of course, your community, in your church, uh, in your city, mm-hmm. you'll be a legend. All, All right. right. So the L, you got to be a leader, mm-hmm. you know, and you got to lead by an example. Yeah. And if you think you lead and ain't nobody following you, the proverb says you only taking a walk. So be a leader. <laughs> all right. I gave another L since we in that church mode. You got to love. Yes. You got to love, man. And love covers a multitude, multitude. of wrongs. Yes. Love is going to defeat evil. Yes. Uh, love is going to change lives. It's going to touch lives. And if you have all the giftedness, the talent, the ability, but you have not love. I'm telling you, you have nothing. Got nothing. E, elevate. Legends elevate people around. How have you made the people around you and closest to you better? Have you made them better in their thinking? Have you made them better uh, in how they feel about themselves, about life? How you Have you made them better in their behavior? Have you elevated them uh, in some other ways? But legends elevate those around you know Michael Jordan had he was so talented he was such a leader he made people around him better and then when they went to the Sixers they became bums but anyway that's a side thought but elevate is the E G give legends give they give of themselves they give sacrificially they give here's, here's a curse word phrase Asking for nothing in return. Mm-hmm. Now, I know I just cussed mm-hmm. during our church service, but they give asking for nothing in return. But legends also also exemplify another type of give. They give in terms of not breaking under pressure. You know how like you take bamboo and you bend it and it gives a little bit? Mm-hmm. Well, legends give under pressure. They give in that moment where they need to step up. They bend, but they don't. Great. Mm-hmm. So the E, we got the L, we got the E, we got the G. Another E is encourage. Who are you encouraging and inspiring? Who have you uh, encouraged with your words, with your actions, with your example and inspired to say, hey, if Kevin can do it or Nikki can do it or if they can do it, man, I can do it too. Mm-hmm. Then N is noble. Legends have a nobility about them. And is having or showing fine personal qualities or high moral principles and ideas. Mm -hmm. They have a nobility about them. Do you have a nobility? And then the D is they are determined. Nice. Legends never give up. Nice. They may feel like it. That's the human experience. But they never give up. They never quit. And they understand, like Rocky said, life is not about how hard you can hit. But it's about how hard you can get hit and how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's not only how winning is done, but that's how legends are made. Nah. That's all I got. That's, that's beautiful. That's it. Yes. As, as you can see, 
we are on our uplifting. This this is uplifting mode. Uplifting mode. We we are we are there because it's it's been although we have been in grind mode working on different film sets, you know, a lot has been going on. Yeah. A lot of lives have been lost. Yeah. And you know, we, we just want to encourage, encourage you. That's all we do. You know, we're praying for you. Yes, we are. Um it, it's we, going to get it's going to get better. Yeah, we're it's thinking about get better. you. We're we want to let you know that you're thinking Kevin about Nikki you. Show, we're thinking about you. It's going to get better. Yeah. It's going to get better. And, people you know, are you got sickness, you got sickness. people losing jobs, you got people you got who are a losing lot loved of stuff ones. Stuff going on. A lot of stuff is going on. Yeah. And we just want to encourage you that it is going to get better. Right. And that and that's what the acting journey. That's one of the things I love about this acting journey: connecting with people. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. At the end of the day, how have you positively connected with a person? Yeah. And you have become better, and they have become better. Yeah. That's what it's about, man. It's like acting is just the vehicle. It's the yeah. vehicle in which we connect. And yeah, we gonna get on set and do what we do. We gonna we gonna do our one take Drakes. We gonna be professional, wardrobe ready, Johnny on the spot, ready to make adjustments, whatever you need us to do. But at the end of the day, it's about that That's personal right. connection. That's right. That's about right. that personal man. All right. Well, this has been uplifting, man. It has. It really it has, has, man. It has. Yeah. Put it out there. All right. I'm actor. I'm about to say I'm minister. But yeah, I'm minister, actor. Good doctor. <laughs> minister, good doctor. But I'm actor Kevin D. Benton. And uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys so much on behalf of me and Nikki for tuning in each week. Yes. We do what we do for you. Just know that God is good, right? He's blessing me or he's blessing you. And we want to preach, we want to let you know that we appreciate you for tuning in. Awesome. <laughs> we do, awesome. we can't do it without you. And we're going to keep bringing y'all hot, inspirational guests and shows and music as long as y'all keep tuning in. Amen. So you can find me on Facebook. You can follow me at Kevin D. Benton. I'm on Twitter at Kevin D. Benton. Hey, I got some stuff up on YouTube. Nikki got some stuff up on YouTube. Yes. Actress Nikki Warren, actor Kevin D. Benton. And uh, we got people over in Africa checking out Woo! our stuff, man. That's, that's an honor. Yes. Hey, man. Yes. Has, a, has somebody you. inbox Thank me, you. man. Africa. 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 <laughs> that's our, our Terry Q. Our Terry Q. blended impersonation. Oh, my goodness. Africa. <laughs> Yeah. I'm Nikki Warren. You can find me on Facebook and on Twitter. I'm at Nikki Warren. And on Instagram, it's hello, I'm Nikki. That's spelled H E L L O I M N I K E E. If you have any questions, comments regarding our show, <laughs> hit us up the Kevin and Nikki show at yahoo.com. Yahoo. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, concerns for Robert Hughes, the awesome writer and director of Mob Diaries, email us. Yeah. The Kevin and Nikki show at yahoo.com. We'll read it to him, get the answer, read it back. And like I say all the time, who knows, your letter can be featured, featured on, on our show. show. Now, like us. Facebook, we are literally ev. Listen, yeah, we everywhere. Ev- we're everywhere. Yeah, pretty we're much. everywhere. Follow our show. Follow, 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 follow us. We're on Facebook. Listen, guys. Before we end, you gotta check out our sister station. You, you heard, heard me first. first. Radio talk show coming yeah. at you live from Texas. Yeah, on Monday. Comedian Edwin and Douglas. Yeah, and Uncle Ben. Uncle, Uncle Ben. ben. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And 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 listen, it's time to vote. Yeah, Come yeah. on, That's it's right. time to vote. Get up, get out, and vote. Come on, you want to change in your neighborhood? You want change for your children? Get, Get out, out and, and vote. vote. That's right. Very be, important. Be a voice and not an echo. Listen, I know they got a lot of co- commercials on TV, you know, speaking negatively of the different candidates. But hey, okay, that's fine. But research them. Find out what their views are. Don't just look at the commercial and, and let that be your deciding factor. Right. Research them. Research their views. Do your homework. You know, and also, if you want to know who your legislator is, the office or whatever, research. It's this thing called the Internet. Google. Daddy Google knows everything. Get on there and find out. Listen, don't be in misinformed. Right. Okay? Don't be misinformed. Get out and vote. Every vote counts. That's right. All right. That's right. And you know, I, you know those commercials, they always kind of drop in negativity. Yes. They got the sinister music Don't playing. Listen. Don't and listen. He, he, he never paid for his car bill. And he, you know, and he, he wants to like, run our country. He don't he, like his children. He don't like his children. Come on. He no. never left a tip at the restaurant. That's what You want to vote for this guy? Yeah. 
This, That's what they want you to hear. This they message want, was sponsored by. <laughs> what do you call it? subliminal messages? Yeah, subliminal messages. They're everybody putting, dropping dirt. Yeah, they're everybody. putting subliminal messages yeah. in your head. You want to know about the person? Research them. That's it. Research their views, what they stand for, and then you decide. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. It's the Kevin and, and Nikki, Nikki Show on iHeartRadio. We're everywhere, and we're out of here. Peace. <laughs>
have been listening to the Kevin and Nikki show on iHeartRadio. So inspirational.